everyone, this is Aze News. In today's program, we have compiled some of the latest news for you, and here they are. Thailand search and rescue team evacuating people by flooding. According to local media, that parts of tourist town Phuket in southern Thailand have faced knee-deep flood after heavy rain overnight, affecting its economic area and shops to close. The Thailand Navy were seen assisting local residents to move furniture from their flooded homes and shops as well as help carry the elderly and bedridden patients out from the affected areas while wading through flooded streets. According to local media Thai PBS, authorities have been working to urgently pump water from affected areas. At least 11 students die after ferry sinks in Cambodia's Mekong River. <laughs> District policeman Amto said at least 11 children were killed when an overloaded ferry that was carrying them home from school sank in Cambodia's Mekong River. Provincial Police Chief Choi Un Sochet told Reuters that rescue teams were searching for one other student after the incident occurred in Kandal Province, about 53 kilometers or 33 miles southeast of the capital Phnom Penh. The victims were aged 11 to 14 years. Prime Minister Hun Sen expressed condolences on social media and instructed authorities to assist victims' families. Millions of Cambodians live and work near the Mekong River, a key waterway that runs through several Southeast Asian countries and China. Investigator says Indonesia's fatal soccer stampede caused by tear gas. The country's security minister, Mahmoud MD, said a fact-finding team tasked with investigating a deadly soccer stampede in Indonesia has concluded that tear gas was the main cause of the death in one of the world's worst stadium disasters. Badan Riset dan Inovasi Nasional. The National Research and Innovation Agency are still investigating the toxicity of the tear gas used. But whatever the result is, it cannot diminish the conclusion that the massive number of deaths was mainly caused by the tear gas. Utama disebabkan oleh gas air mata. Mahmoud added, the findings detailed in a 124-page list of recommendations had been handed to the president. The fact-finding team also found the police personnel on duty had no knowledge of the prohibition of the tear gas at soccer matches. More than 130 people died in a crash after a match at Kanjuruan Stadium in East Java on October 1st. Indonesian president sees huge potential for cooperation with China. Indonesian President Joko Widodo said his country enjoys strong vitality in its ties with China and believes cooperation between the two sides has a bright future and vast development potential, highlighting how the two nations understand each other's needs. In an exclusive interview with China Central Television, the president, popularly known as Jokowi, outlined the strong relationship between both countries. Uh, RRT and Indonesia are two countries. As two major countries, China and Indonesia, have huge potential for cooperation, China's investment in Indonesia has increased rapidly, ranking second, but I think it will become the first. Jokowi said Indonesia stands ready to strengthen strategic communication across all levels in China to inject positive energy into regional and world peace, stability and development. Indonesia and China have maintained diplomatic relations for 72 years, with the two sides establishing a strategic partnership in 2005, which was upgraded to a comprehensive strategic partnership in 2013. Continuous rains in the last 12 hours in Danang caused rapid flooding in the resort town. Trong vài tiếng đồng hồ mưa lớn, người dân đã rất chật vật. 
Residents says that this is the worst flooding that Danang has seen in 30 years. Flood water rapidly raised to as high as 1.5 meters in the city central within 5 to 10 minutes, leaving them with almost no time to evacuate. Hundreds of cars are reported to be damaged in the flood, while authorities were racing to evacuate children and elderly people to safety. Footage on VTV showed vehicle left behind as drivers scrambled to get to higher grounds. Heavy rain also caused flooding in the hill city, some kilometer north of Danang. People were seen traveling by small rowing boats or wading over knee-deep water. Tourists wade through flood water in Vietnam's tourist city. Flood water inundated the tourist city of Da Nang after continuous rain for hours. Videos uploaded on social media showed roads flooded while motorcyclists waded through them. Residents say that this is the worst flooding that Da Nang has seen in 30 years. Flood water rapidly raised to as high as 1.5 meters in the city central within 5 to 10 minutes, leaving them with almost no time to evacuate. Da Nang authorities have started cleaning up and assessing damages as the rain has stopped and flood water slowly receded. Singapore and Australia sign on a green economic deal to boost cooperation. Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong told the news conference in Canberra that the agreement will start with initiatives such as developing a list of environmental goods and services that could be given preferential trade treatment. The first GA we are signing is with Australia. We are very happy at this. It's the world's first such agreement and it will support the transition of our countries to net zero emissions as well as create jobs and growth opportunities in green sectors and promote the development and commercialization of green technologies. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese cited the $13 billion Australia or $18.8 billion US dollar sound cable project which aims to export solar power from Northern Australia to Singapore via Indonesia as an example of what the agreement aims to achieve. Today we open a new chapter in the comprehensive strategic partnership between Australia and Singapore. The Green Economy Agreement signals collective resolve to confront challenges as we transition our economies to net zero. It will support clean energy innovation, unlock business opportunities and create jobs, and help deliver our emissions targets while positioning Australia as a renewable energy superpower. Thanks very much. Thank you. Australia and Singapore agreed on a green economy deal to boost cooperation on climate investment, financing and technology. Well, that's the whole news for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs>